Hey, honey. Where are you now? I'm in the hospital now. My grandma is sick, so today I have to go visit her. Uh, her condition is quite bad. Now she has to be hospitalized, and perhaps I will return home at night today. I'll stay to take care of her, and my younger brother will take my place tonight when he gets off work. Did something happen at home? Um, I think you need to go home and open the door for Daisy. She doesn't have a key to the house. What? So where are you? Shouldn't you go to school to pick her up? No, no. Today I'm busy. Busy? What the heck are you talking about? Today is Saturday, and the school shuttle is not running, and parents have to pick up their children themselves. This morning I told you and repeated that you had to go pick up Daisy, right? Yeah, I know. Um, actually I'm busy today. Kind of other plans. Busy? Other plans? What could be important that could happen on your day off? You have to stop your unexpected work and go pick up Daisy immediately. It's already 5.45 p.m. I don't want her to wait another minute. No, Daisy seems to have arrived home. I guess she walked home. I saw her playing in the porch through the camera. Maybe Daisy doesn't have the key, so go home and open the door for her. What? Walk? Do you know how cold it is outside? Yeah, I know, I know. So please, quickly go home and open the door for her to come in. Are you serious? I'm in Texas right now. How come? That's why I told you to remember to pick up Daisy. If I had been home, I could have picked her up on time. What? Texas? Oh, I forgot it. Where on earth are you right now? Go home immediately and open the door for her to come in before my poor Daisy catches a cold. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe I can't go home right away. What do you mean? Are you crazy? Where are you? I'm at the cinema. The movie's in the middle of showing, so I can't get up and leave. I don't want to be a nuisance. What? Well, today is Saturday. Tom has a day off from school, so I took the opportunity to take Tom and Sophia to the movies. Maybe the movie will end in about an hour, then I can return home. Ugh, I have to get Sophia and Tom home safely too. What? Sophia? My sister? Yeah, and her son, Tom. Oh my god, Thomas. Are you kidding me? You're prioritizing someone else's child over your own child? I mean, she's not just anyone's kid, is she? She's your sister, man. That's her daughter. But why her over Daisy? That makes no sense. Sophia's a single mom, though, right? She doesn't have anyone she can rely on. I thought I'd help her out a bit. And that's why you let your six-year-old daughter walk home in this freezing cold weather. And she doesn't even have a key to the house and has to wait outside? How dare you! Come on. Daisy's home from school is not too far. She is six years old. She can walk home. Think of it as an opportunity for your baby to gently exercise at the end of the day. It only takes 10 to 15 minutes. Don't stress so much. You're crazy. I can't imagine how cold and lost my little Daisy would be having to wait for her parents outside in this cold weather. She would constantly wonder where her parents are. Oh my god, I can't stand this. How dare you treat her like that? She is your daughter. Okay, my bad. But don't take it too seriously. I will be home in two hours. She can play on her own on the porch. I will monitor via the camera. You must be crazy, Thomas. I will talk clearly with you tonight. I can't let her stand in such cold weather anymore. I'll send her to a neighbor's house. Go home as fast as you can and pick her up right away. Bastard. Got it. And I am truly sorry. Thomas, we have something to discuss. What's the thing? Tomorrow is Daisy's birthday. You still remember, right? Huh? I suggested that our family book a table at the Intercontinental Hotel to celebrate her seventh birthday. We'll order a birthday cake and give her a surprise gift tomorrow. Our whole family will have dinner together and wish our little angel Daisy a happy birthday. What do you think? It's so cozy, isn't it?
Wait, tomorrow is Daisy's birthday? What? Don't you remember? Oh, no, no, I still remember. It's just too much work, so I'm a bit confused. Okay, you better remember your daughter's birthday. So, what do you think about my plan? Um, sorry, but I probably won't be able to attend her birthday. What? I forgot to tell you, I will travel with Sophia and Tom for two days. We will go camping, because that was Tom's birthday wish a long time ago. I have prepared and rented everything for camping. Tents, fire starting equipment, food, etc. So I probably cannot cancel. What? Oh my god, wow. You're kidding, right? No, I'm telling the truth. I'll book a table at the hotel and you can celebrate her birthday there with Daisy. You can invite more of her friends to come. Daisy will definitely be very happy. <laughs> what does it mean when her father isn't there to celebrate her birthday? What's on your mind? You are treating your wife and children in the worst way. Do you know that? Let me get this straight. Am I your wife or Sophia? Is Daisy your child or Tom's? Come on, of course, you and Daisy are my family. But because I was so busy, I didn't remember Daisy's birthday, and the camping date overlapped. My bad, sorry about that. How would I answer her when Daisy asked about her father? It's not the first time you've disappointed her either, is it? What's that supposed to mean? Remember both Daisy's and Tom's birthday last year? How did you buy a limited edition robot for Tom? And what did you buy for our Daisy? What did you buy for our daughter, Thomas? Man. A multi-pack of M&Ms and Haribos. It pisses me off just to even think about it. Unbelievable! Yeah, and we talked about that, right? That was because Sophia didn't have enough money to buy anything nice for Tom. She's limited on cash, but you always get nice stuff for Daisy. So I just thought it would be nice if... Tom got something nicer for a change. And why the heck couldn't you just buy the same thing for Daisy too then? Well, because I happened to be short on cash on her birthday. And that was the only thing I could afford at the time, when I stopped by the gas station. I told you. But you could have gone out to get it on another day. Why didn't you bother doing that for her? I just got busy afterward with work and everything, okay? I'll get one for her soon. That's the story from one year ago, Thomas. How do you think that'll make her feel? And you're so pathetic that you can't even devise a better excuse. Just admit that you love my sister's kid more than your own. That's not true. Come on. That's not fair. Fair? You know what's not fair? My husband taking care of my sister's child more than his own. That's not fair. All right, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Nancy. You even decided to go on a trip with my sister and her son right on your daughter's birthday. Is that fair? And you even know that I don't even get along with my sister. You know how mean she was to me growing up. Yeah, and I don't know why you guys just can't make up already. All siblings fight when they're kids. Who doesn't? You're the only one holding a grudge against her for it. Just give her the olive branch already. What? You think I should be the one to give her the olive branch? Why the heck me? She was the one who bullied me and did horrible things to me. And she still hasn't even apologized about that to me. She's a cow and you know it. Oh, come on. It was just silly stuff, right? No, it wasn't. You don't even know half of the things she did to me. Oh, hey, hold on. I can't talk to you now. I have work to do. Wait! You still decided to go camping instead of attending your daughter's birthday, right? Yep, I can't cancel that camping trip. Everything has been very well planned. Okay. Hey, Nancy! Please send me a happy birthday to my little niece, Daisy. I will send her a gift after returning from the camping trip. I don't need your fake wishes. Also, no need to send any gift. Just keep it for your son. Oh, you seem very stressed. What's up? Is it because I accidentally borrowed your husband for your daughter's birthday? <laughs> if that's true, then I'm sorry. <laughs> How shameless. 
I don't want to talk to you anymore. Today is my daughter's birthday. Don't show up and ruin a wonderful day like today. Thanks. Come on! I know today is Stacy's birthday. I just wanted to send my wishes to her. I'm sorry I couldn't come to Daisy's birthday party. Please tell her that Tom and I love her very much. <laughs> Don't act like an angel here anymore. You are the one who indirectly ruined my daughter's birthday party today. I will never forgive you. So get rid of that meaningless wish right away. It's not worthy. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But actually, I didn't intentionally borrow Thomas. It was your husband's free will. I can't force him to abandon his daughter and her birthday to go camping with us. It's his choice. Yes, this is what Thomas chose. You are so shameless. How can you be my sister? Oh, damn! Why not, girl? I am your twin sister. More talented than you. More beautiful than you. It's just that I can't be as lucky as you, so I have to try my best to achieve what you also have. Right? Twins have to share with each other, right? Sister? <laughs> share? What do you mean by share? I think a husband is something that cannot be shared. A kind, understanding sister would never act like that, Sophia. Come on! I didn't mean that! Thomas is just helping me share some of the burden of being a single mother. Don't take it seriously. I'm your sister, so you also need to care and share my difficulties, Nancy. How about you? Always trying to sabotage, be jealous and envious of her sister. Is that how an older sister should treat her younger sister? Huh? Look, Thomas and Tom are playing together and setting up a tent. How adorable they are. Surely, everyone who looks at us will be jealous of this wonderful family image of ours. <laughs> oh, I noticed something. Tom... And Thomas of similarities. <laughs> Shut your mouth up. I don't need to know about your bullshit camping trip. You are the one who is destroying my family's marriage. A bad sister. Are you blaming me for your broken marriage? Yes, I am. Obviously, you're the problem. If Thomas cared more about his own daughter instead of yours, I wouldn't be this mad. None of this would have happened. It's not good to blame people for your own mistakes, Nancy. Okay? An older sister ruined her younger sister's marriage. A terrible husband who didn't care about his family. I don't need people like that in my family. And I don't care about your stupid picnic. Get out! Oh? How rude you are, Nancy. Men? Always wants a son, Nancy. My son, Tom is a smart, handsome, and agile kid. He definitely is my pride. I think that's also the reason why Thomas liked to spend more time with Tom than your stupid daughter. Shut up. You are not allowed to speak to my daughter in such a way. Stay the heck away from me and my family. Oh, no way. Why would I do that? I need him. What? Well, I'm just saying that I need him for his money. What do you mean? Come on, you know what I mean. Know what? Are you serious? He sends us money every month. What? How much? And how long for? You really didn't know about that? Gosh, your marriage really is in shambles, isn't it? Answer me. I don't know, maybe for the last two years or something. And he sends us $500 every month. Oh my god. Why would he do that? Why? Isn't it obvious? You work, don't you? You have a job, and I don't. And I'm a single mom. He's just being nice and helping me out a bit. But why doesn't he help us with our finances then? You can just apply for government help or whatever they do for single moms. Well, I can't answer that for you, so you should ask him yourself, okay? And no, the government does nothing to help us, okay? You guys are both huge twats. I freaking hate you so much. Don't think that you can get away with this, Sophia. I don't care if you're my sister or not. You can't do this to me. Sure, sure. I'm going to enjoy my camping trip. <laughs>
Uh-huh. Haven't you received an email from my lawyer? Mail? Lawyer? What are you talking about? I received an email, but I don't really care. Maybe it's just spam. Oh, no, no. Please, read each line carefully, word by word. I want a divorce! What? No! Why would you want a divorce? I've been thinking about it for a while now, Thomas. I think it's time we both went our own separate ways. And you even let your child wait outside in the cold winter. And you don't go to your daughter's birthday party to go camping with someone else. That was the last straw. And I'm done staying in this marriage. I want out. What? You don't mean that. Anyways, you know I love you. I think you're the best mom ever. No one can do the housework the way you do. You're an awesome cook and everything. You think that's love? You tell me you love me, and all you can say is how good I am at doing the freaking housework. No, no, man, you got it all wrong. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. I love you the way you are, okay? Come on, I do everything for you. I helped your sister out at the end of the day. That's for you too. She's your only sister, right? It might look like I do more than I should sometimes, but I do it for you. So you wanted to help me out so much that you went and had a kid with my sister, huh? What? You think I don't know about it? What do you mean, babe? I mean, how you've been sleeping with my sister behind my back all this time. You had a kid with her. Oh, come on, that's not true. Too late for that. I already have proof from a paternity test. What the heck? Nancy, listen, I don't know what the heck you're on about, okay? And what's this paternity test about? When did you do that? I never gave my blood to anyone. Really? But I already have the result. Tom is your and Sophia's child. I was suspicious as soon as Sophia revealed that you provide her with monthly payments. So I had to take action to clarify everything. What? Sophia told you that? What an idiot she is. So, you were indirectly admitting everything, right? Oh, no, no. Listen. Let me explain to you. No, while you guys were enjoying a fun camping trip for Daisy's birthday, I asked my mom to get the key and I entered Sophia's house. I took Tom's toothbrush and took a DNA test with my friend. And it was a surprise, something I never imagined. The results indicate that Tom is your son. How long are you going to lie to me? That result is not real. You must not believe in that silly result. Stop talking nonsense. I did the test at a reputable hospital, so there can't be any mistake here. No way, Nancy. You need to calm down and listen. Listen what? I think you have nothing left to explain. Damn, alright. I did sleep with her. And yeah, Tom is my kid too, okay? That's the truth, Nancy. No more hiding, no more secrets, I swear. Wow. You are unbelievable. But it was just an accident that happened when I was drunk. I slept with her, but I didn't love her. The person I love is you. I only love you. Shut your dirty mouth up. Every word you say is disgusting. I don't want to hear anything else. Please prepare for the divorce proceedings. I have signed and sent the divorce papers to you. No, I will never agree to divorce. I will still be your husband. I will stay in my house. Don't try to chase me anywhere. Are you kidding me? It's not your house. That's my parents' house. How can you take it for granted like it's yours? That is the couple's common property, and it is also my house. <laughs> I have all the evidence of your adultery. I will divorce and sue you as quickly as possible, so that house will never be yours. Not only that, but prepare for the upcoming compensation and child support fees. I think you will quickly fade away. <laughs> quickly pack up your things and get out of here, you bastard! Come on, Nancy, I know I was wrong. I am really sorry. I'll do anything for you, babe. Tell me and I'll do it. I want a divorce. That's what I want. No, anything but that, please. You can't do that to me. I don't even love Sophia. It was just something casual, okay? 
Well, you should have thought about that before you went and had her a kid. I've had enough. I want a divorce. And that's it. Stay the hell away from me. No, please, I'll take care of both of you. Both you and Daisy, okay? I'll be the best husband and the best dad to Daisy, I promise. This isn't what I want. Nancy, babe, come on. Nancy. No, the only way out of this mess is divorce. Man, I just want to inform you that it seems like your whole company already knows about this. So you'll be fired sooner or later. <laughs> what, are you serious? Your colleague Amy is my cousin. We haven't been in contact with each other often lately because we're busy with work. But when we returned home to visit my grandmother recently, we met again and talked a lot. At that time, I knew she worked in the same company as you, and her position was even higher than yours. <laughs> I told her everything about my family and married life, warning her to get to know a man carefully before deciding to get married. Amy, the assistant general manager? Exactly. We still kept in touch when I returned home. She also wanted to visit Daisy, so she was present on her birthday. She gave her a gift and together with me organized a party at Daisy's hotel with her friends. She helped me a lot in preparing, decorating, and managing the children. She really appeared and replaced your role. Oh, thanks, Nancy. I will thank her when we meet at the company. I don't think you have a chance to meet her. Why? Amy, of course. She also wondered about your absence at Daisy's birthday party. I confided everything to her, about what you did to Daisy. Amy was very angry. She was angry on my behalf and was the one who suggested divorce to me. She was also the one who introduced me to a lawyer and helped me reclaim all my rights. Impossible! Why did you tell her everything? Well, she's my cousin. Perhaps Amy has already spread this information to all employees at your company. She said that everyone is criticizing you in the company's internal group. And surprisingly, she reported this to the general manager and you are officially removed from the company's promotion nomination list. <laughs> Humiliating, right? No, impossible. I have tried so hard to be nominated for a promotion that I can't let this opportunity go. Otherwise, I will have to wait longer. You're lying. See, you're lying. You can go to your company's group to check. I bet you will see a lively scene there. <laughs> because of the company's reputation, sooner or later you will be fired. Why? Why would you do this to me? I cannot accept this. Good luck with the huge payouts and your mess at the company. Karma truly hits your face. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, please help me. Tell Amy it was just a misunderstanding. Please, Nancy. I need you to explain everything to Amy again. She has a decisive role in my company. Please. No way. Get out of my life and Daisy's life. I don't want to see your face anymore. No, please! After that, I gave all the evidence to the lawyer and started the divorce process as quickly as possible. Thomas was forced to move out of my parents' house. Then he faced an alimony of up to $100,000. I asked him to send money to support Daisy every month which is a father's duty to fulfill. Thomas kept calling me and asking for forgiveness, but it was too late. What he did to Daisy would leave a hole in her heart. I will never forgive that. As for Sophia, after my parents learned the truth, they broke off relations with her. My parents were very surprised and angry. They could not believe that this was their daughter. Sophia and Thomas also cannot live together under the same roof because they simply do not love each other. Thomas couldn't get promoted because of his colleagues' gossip, so he had to work as a regular employee with a much lower salary than before. To cover the expenses for his two children, he even had to work another job outside of work hours. Daisy and I moved back to live with my parents, and my days passed filled with laughter and happiness with my daughter. I always try my best to make up for Daisy's lack of affection from her father, and she seems to be very understanding. I love my little angel Daisy more than anyone. I won't let her suffer any more pain.